Hello everybody, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the MSS32.dll file is missing error you're getting on your Windows computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve that. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up a web browser. Doesn't matter which one, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to open up Google Chrome. And once I have Google Chrome open, I'm going to just navigate over to, you guessed it, Google. And into Google, you want to go ahead and just type in DirectX Installer. Okay, and one of the best matches should be from a Microsoft domain. You want to make sure you're getting it from Microsoft. And it says download DirectX and user runtime web installer. I'm going to just lock click on that. Again, there's no reason you should be getting it from anybody other than Microsoft. So underneath select the language, make sure you select the right one. Go ahead and left click on download here. You can uncheck the box to set MSN as your default home page and Bing as your default search engine. That's not necessary. And then go ahead and left click on no thanks and continue DirectX and user runtime web installer. So I'm going to just left click on that. Once the executable is done downloading, I'm just going to left click on it one time. If you receive a pop-up from user account control, left click on yes. Should say welcome to set up for DirectX. You want to left click on accept the agreement once you've looked through the end user license agreement. Left click on next. I'm going to uncheck install the Bing bar. I don't really want it, so I'm going to left click on next again. We'll take a moment here, so just please be patient. And once we see that it's installing components and the download size, left click on next. This will take a moment, so again, I'm just going to be patient here. Okay, once it's done, components installed and are ready for use. Left click on finish. Would suggest restarting your computer and hopefully your DLL error has been resolved. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.